still don't know what I'm going to do about the lighting. <clears throat> but yeah. I won't lie to you. Um, after not doing this for like a week, um, it definitely doesn't feel the same. Um, favorite thing of the day, girlfriend. Yeah, it just doesn't feel the same making these. You know, I'll get back into it, but it's because I was in the routine of doing it for almost 300 days and then I stopped. Um, yeah. I mean, it's fine. You know, still stand behind my reasons behind taking a week break. But, yeah. What am I grateful for? I am grateful for... Grateful for goosebumps. I'm kind of cold right now, so I got some goosebumps. And yeah, I'm grateful for them. I can actually do it on command. Fun fact. Well, you know when you get goosebumps and you feel the sensation kind of go like from the back of your head and like down, and then it goes like out throughout your arms and then down and all that? I can at least get that feeling. You know, because if I'm like completely warm and sweaty, I might be able to get that feeling, but it's not going to give me goosebumps because, you know, goosebumps is a reaction to temperature. And just because I can do that on command doesn't mean my skin's really going to turn to goosebumps. It reacts a little bit, but when I'm not like cold or in need of goosebumps, then no, I don't really get that. But yeah, I can give myself the sensation. Basically, I can't. And there's a limit to how much I can do it, but that's, um, you know, irrelevant. Another good day with my girlfriend, you know. Um, you know, and I was talking to my, my boy Zay today. Um, and normally we, like, just watch anime because he loves Dragon Ball. And I finally decided to watch it, so I've been watching it with him. My Probably not. Am I there? Hello. So I'm coming out of my hand. Yeah, um, so I was just, like, talking to him. You know, normally we just watch anime, because I'll be honest, I don't give him much time, you know. You know, like, I try and make time for him, and, and you know, I do, but, you know, I mainly just kind of want to talk to my girlfriend and, and all that. Like, I'll be straight up. Um, but, yeah, we were just talking today. And he was like, so how's you and your girlfriend? And I was like, we're good. We've been really good, you know. And, you know, at one point I was like, I don't know where she is, matter of fact, because her internet cuts out because her mom likes to cut out her in internet. So, you know, it is what it is. I was like, she's probably at dinner. And he remembers that I, I told him before that it, her mom kind of like goes crazy with that, even though my girlfriend pays for the internet. And, you know, then we started getting into that. And for some reason... You know, I don't remember how I got to that, but I told him, it happened like a few weeks ago at this point. No, maybe like two weeks ago. If that, my girlfriend's mom threw a fire extinguisher at her on purpose because she was mad. 
and I said that, and, you know, he had some things to say about that. I mean, basically, he just got me thinking. You know, because obviously it's not okay that she did that to her own daughter, let alone to anybody. You know, you gotta fucking control your anger. Um, it's just something you should never do, because it's not the real you. When you're angry, you're not thinking rationally, you know, I, you should never let your anger speak for you. Some people can't control it, and that's fine. But really hitting your daughter is uh, something else. But, you know, my girlfriend, I told uh, my boy Zay that, you know, my girlfriend kind of just blames herself for it. You know, because she's really quick to do that. Um, you know, because she's had a lot of bad stuff happen in the past and this and this and that. But, like, regardless, she blames herself, you know. Um, and he was like, that's, my boy Zay was like, that's not okay. You know, you should really let her know how you feel about it. Because, you know, people shouldn't be throwing shit like that. And, you know, your girlfriend is in harm's way of that. You know, and I don't completely agree with what he said next. But he was like, she should fight back. Um, which I don't agree with. You know, I think, yeah she has the right to that's what he was saying but he was saying more like she should kind of not not fight back but like assert herself you know because i get where he's coming from but he was like the more you let people do that to you the more they're gonna do it you know that's a bit different because the dynamic of a a uh, parent and a child um Um, it's a bit different. I'd say that the parent has the right to use that kind of authority. But yeah, I didn't agree with that. But, you know, my girlfriend, you know, we brought, there were a ton of factors that came into play. You know, my girlfriend's financial stuff, you know the immaturity kind of behind her decisions not exactly immaturity but like just that we don't agree with her decisions um you know like in allowing her mom to do that to her necessarily but at the same you know i don't agree with my girlfriend's overall actions and doing what she's doing because the reason why she's doing what she's doing you know again there were a ton of factors that came into play in me and my friend's little debate i guess you know, of course, he doesn't know the most, and, you know, ultimately, we're looking out for her. You know, that's kind of what it is. He's looking out for me, so I can look out for her, kind of. And, um, my girlfriend chooses to not do anything, like, you know, get, you know, for example, the police involved or anything like that. Because, one, my girlfriend likes to blame herself for a lot. You know, like, how she would pose it would be like, oh, I made her mad. It's my fault. You know? Or, wait, why did I say or? She likes to do that. You know, blame herself in that way. But, you know, mainly, she allows herself to be this way. And, you know... Kind of get taken advantage of i guess because of her siblings she's really caring towards her siblings and it's really um altruistic of her because you know she she has the same mom as them you know and she understands that she wasn't raised the best and she kind of wants to steer her siblings into right directions and you know make them decent human beings you know some of them are still younger some of them are you know adolescent but, you know, I really admire that in her, um, just being a great sister, you know, and, again, kind of putting herself in harm's way to do so, kind of altruistically. Um, so, you know, while she could get her own place to live, you know, she chooses not to. Well, 
because she still knows that she's not exactly the most responsible with her money, nor is she, I don't, I don't think she could be completely dependent. She, she could for a while, but she knows, you know, she doesn't have a good paying job. She's going to go to college eventually. You know, but I, I, I agree that her mom shouldn't be doing that. And, but, but with the goal my girlfriend has in mind, I don't disagree with her going about it. You know, her mom doesn't always throw stuff at her. I'm not trying to excuse that. But, you know, it's a shame. My girlfriend goes through a lot of shit in her house. You know, a ton of physical harm, not like abuse, but you know, like her siblings, you know, and you know, her mother's lack of mothering and, you know, towards that act, those actions, you know, she kind of inhibits them to happen to my girlfriend. I've never spoken to her mother. But you know, at the same time, my girlfriend, she's like, I love my mom, but at the same time, I can't because she's better than she used to be. You know, that's how she kind of justifies her mom's actions because she's better than she used to be. But still, like, the remnants of of what she's done for me, you know? Um, just like in the past, which it's not my business to get into that. But... <clears throat> You know, I don't disagree with her reasoning for doing that, but, you know, I want her to be safe. And, you know, ultimately, my boy Zay kind of pushed me in the direction of saying something about it. And it's something I should say. Um, you know, I've definitely expressed that I'm not happy about hearing that and all that to her. You know, and I'm not going to tell her to go act and bell I felt like, get out, get out. Go, get out. You idiot. But I want her to be okay, you know? And he kind of just nudged me in the direction of suggesting something, you know? Or at least not being... And, and here's a problem that I've had before and I've talked about a long time ago. People get so accustomed to their lives, they don't realize how easily they can change. You know? And what I mean by that is, when you live one way your whole life, it's really easy to just sink into that and accept that as all your life will ever be. Like, let's say you're in a physically abusive relationship. You're like, my boyfriend or my husband or my wife or my girlfriend is just like that. You know? It's just who they are, you know, but they still love me, you know, because we have all these good times. But, you know, it's a lack of self-respect. It's a lack of, you know, opportunity, maybe. You know, maybe they just don't see what they can do. But people tend to stay in the lives that they have because it's a lot easier than going off on your own and in the own direction, you know, away from groups. You know, it happens to a lot of people. And, you know... I guess I just want to make sure that she can, she still considers her options, you know, as long as she's okay, you know, I really, again, admire her for doing what she's doing for her siblings, but, you know, as her boyfriend, I feel like it's my job to try and ensure that she's mentally sound and do what I can for her, you know, like, while it's great what she's doing and is going to do for her siblings, you know, and I'm not saying she should just abort that altogether. I'm going to make sure she's okay. And if I don't think that things are going well, then I'm going to have to say something. And it's just going to be what I have to do. And I made a group chat throughout my break um, with my girlfriend and her ex. Because her ex I went to school with. And we were always pretty cool. He called me his friend. Calls us friends I wouldn't really say so like we're cool but like there's a difference between friends and not friends and just being cool with somebody I think you know I guess it's just certain people but you know I've kind of really gotten used to those types of relationships so 
I think it's kind of naive when people misinterpret kindness for generosity. I guess that's more of an analogy or a metaphor. Because, you know, it's not exactly the same. But just because I'm nice to you doesn't mean we're friends, you know. I Again, I'm cool with you, but, you know. Of course, like, we knew each other since we were, like, little. You know, we were on the same baseball team at one point. You know, this, this, that. But but it's his birthday party at one point. But, you know, that never, like, stayed true. You know, we always had, like, some linking friends, but we were never, like, besties, you know. But, yeah, um, honestly, he's, like, obsessed with my girlfriend. See, you might be wondering why I did that. I made sure my girlfriend was comfortable with it, and, you know, it seems like she's getting more uncomfortable about it. So, you know, I'm going to have to put my foot down and shit, but... You know, he knows I'm dating her. They used to date. So, you know, he's like, add us to a group chat. And I was like, I don't know, man. So I talked to my girlfriend about it. She's like, I don't mind. You know, and I know she could have just been saying that just because. So, you know, I tried to make sure. And I seemed to me like she'd be fine with it. So, you know, we went. And, um, yeah, it's just like a little text chat, you know. You know, but they've been, like, going at it, like, kind of, like, half-jokingly, but, you know, ultimately out of spite, kind of. And then, like, I don't know, they're just, like, bickering, you know. I mean, my girlfriend, like, doesn't really like him because, you know, what he's done before. And then he's just, like, I don't know. Like, whenever, I'll send him a reel on Instagram and, and he'll be like, are you still with uh, your girlfriend? I've said her name before, but I'm, like, still hesitant to say it. Are you still with your girlfriend? Or, or with her? I'm like, yeah. Like, I don't know why he's always asking about her, you know? I mean, not always, but, like, you know, recently, he's kind of just been, like, had her in his mouth. Pause. You know, like, just, like, randomly when talking to me or, like, texting me or whatever. So, now in the group chat, and I send him a reel, and he's like, um, he said, like, tell her you're mine. No, 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 He wanted me to tell her that I am his main hoe, you know. He tends to do that, you know. He kind of weasels his way out of my confrontations through comedy, you know, or, you know, he kind of just, like, tries to play it off as something it isn't. You know, like, he, I don't know, I felt like at one point he was getting too nosy about my girlfriend. So I was like, something on your mind? You know, like, I was just straight up, like, something on your mind? And he was like, only you, baby girl. Like, it's just, like, really weird. You know, like, you, I'm not a fucking idiot, right? Obviously, she's in your mind for whatever reason, whether because you used to date or, you know, maybe you're mad that I'm dating her now or, you know, like, whatever. But, like, we all know something's on your fucking mind. We all know she's on your mind. So, if I'm going to confront you because I think you're being weird as hell, the, and then you just completely dodge, it's just weird to me. So, like, earlier he just said, like, shut up to her. And I was, like, kind of just letting it all play out. But, you know, it was, like, a few hours later, he just, like, randomly said, shut up. So, I was, like, nah, nah. I ain't going to let him speak to her like that, you know. Step up because I think it's what I should do. You know, of course, they're still, like, half-joking, half-spiteful, you know, so it wasn't out of the ordinary. I just didn't like how he said straight up, shut up, so I kind of just, like, interjected, you know, because, again, I think it's what she would have wanted me to do, um, and it's something that I feel like I should do, you know, like, who are you to say that to her? Um, especially when she's kind of just, like, she was really just giving him, like, cool, yep, like, a ton of, like, dry-ass shit, you know, he wasn't getting it, obviously, but, starts calling her salty, it's like, bro, you know, and she's, like, giving these one-word responses, and he's, like, why, why, like, he's really, like, trying to keep it going, like, he's just, he's trying to start something that isn't there, like, you're trying to kindle a wet fire, that doesn't make sense, you're trying to, trying to kindle wet 
branches. You're trying to light. You know what I mean. So, you know, it's just kind of lame. We can all see what he's doing. I think he's the only person to... I don't know if the word would be insecure or like... Um, I don't know. Too, too unsecure. To admit it. You know, or to like really be straight up with his feelings and, you know, say what he's actually thinking. Because we all know he's not saying what he's actually thinking. But yeah, um, what am I going to throw out? I haven't had to throw something out in a minute. I threw something out yesterday, but I had that like planned. I mean, like I said, a lot of my shit got fucking thrown out when I started like cleaning my room. And I know the lighting's still going to be ass. And I fucked up my neck. I really fucked it up. I was doing the lap pull down. I did back today. You guys are going to see some of that in um, my running prep video. Um, I haven't posted it yet, but, you know, I haven't even put it together yet. I still have all the clips, I guess, but it's not going to be, I don't know, I'm a bit behind on them. So it won't be the next run prep, it'll be the one after that. But, um, my neck is fucked. If I do that, I feel it here. Oh, this is going to be bad. Dude. If I do that, I feel it here. Oh my god, that hurts so badly. I was doing lat pull down, and I guess some um, I. I I don't know. I just strained my neck a bit too much. I probably like pulled something. I don't know. Hope I didn't break my neck. But, you know. I don't know how that would happen, but you know. You know. I'm gonna go to bed. After I throw some away. gonna throw this away um it's like i'm recording right if i'm not recording i swear i'm not redoing this am i look okay 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 wait okay so my grandpa like wrote on a little paper plate you know and um it was like a BB gun. First time shooting a BB gun. You know, and... You know, I did alright. You know. This is like, this is... It looks pretty good. But you should have seen the misses, you know. Uh, apparently this was July 10th, 2019. Um, you know, you wrote good shooting. Gramps, because uh, it was my grandpa's BB gun. I was at his house. Um... And yeah, it was, uh, I don't know, it's fun shooting that thing, and here's one thing I remembered. Um, it was really hard for me to pull it back. I'd have to put it, like, against my chest and go like that if I wanted to, like, open the barrel and put the BB in. But not too long ago, mm, the summer, yeah, the summer maybe. Uh, I was at, or I was with my grandpa again, and I don't know if it was the exact same gun, but it was a similar one, and that was, like, really easy to just go, like, Ugh. you know, I was a lot more out of shape then, and that's five years ago, so I would have been 13, no, Thirteen, yeah, thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Was either thirteen or fourteen? I don't know how the fuck I got twelve. It was I was thirteen at the time. You know, so I was weaker, I was fatter, shorter. Um. You know, didn't work out obviously, and yeah, just something I liked when I noticed it, and um. Ugh. Race coming up, thirtieth. Peace.